Hello guys, welcome back to our Docam customization tutorial series. So um, in this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hide the edit button. Now some people have said that they would like to hide the edit button because there is this quick edit option, okay? Um, so if I click on the quick edit option, you see that there is this, you know, short, you know, edit um, options that a vendor can use to edit their product and essentially it contains um most of the you know options that are important for you know the editing of a product except for maybe um long description essentially so um some people have uh, some people feel like okay this is okay for you know their vendors to edit their product okay so they want to keep this and disable the main edit button okay so i'm going to show you how to disable this main edit button okay and basically i can just show you how you know you can copy and paste the css in your styles okay in your theme styles but um, let me just quickly show you the trick you can use to actually hide anything you want um, so basically if i right click and i click on view page source so this time i'm not inspecting the page i'm going to click on view page source and and basically this is like the um, source the code that you know HTML CSS and some JavaScript that powers this page okay so that renders this page basically so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for delete permanently okay so I'll come to the page source and I'll click on control F so it's control L stands for control find or search <clears throat> so I'm going to say delete and I'll say permanently. So there are just six um, occurrences of this word delete permanently. So basically, um, this is not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go down to. All right. So this is what I am looking for. Now, basically, what I'm interested in is the edit section. This edit section here. Okay. Um, so um, the way I'm going to write the CSS for this is I'm first going to pick out this class. So there is a div with a class of row action. And then within that div, there's a span with a class of edits. So this is essentially how I'm going to, um, you know, hide this particular edit feature here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to go to the back end of my website. So um, essentially, go to the back end of your website, come to appearance and click on customize. It should bring you to a page like this. And then come to additional CSS on the left menu bar. So essentially, first off, I'm going to add a comment and I'm going to say hide edit option. Okay. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, remember we had dot a class of row actions. So I'm going to say dot row hyphen actions and then Inside it, we had a span that had a class which stands for dot of edits. Okay, and then basically, I'm just going to tell my CSS that I don't want this to be displayed, so I'm going to say display none and then I'm going to close. So, we'll go ahead and click on publish and let's go back. So, um, so let's just make sure our CSS was right. So row actions span edit yeah so now let's refresh this page so there is this edit option here and then there's quick edit what we're going to do is we want to disable the edit now let's refresh the page and see what happens okay so essentially we've been able to remove the edit button so all we have here is delete permanently the quick edit and duplicate so if i click on quick edit i get the options to add maybe change things like the price and other stuff about my product okay so basically that's how you um, remove the edit button in the next um, tutorial um, i'm going to show you how to remove the quick edit button from quick edit link or option from this um, rule just on your products okay so um don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, for great content on programming generally okay thank you so much um see you in the next tutorial Check the link in the description for a playlist that contains all the customizations for Dokkan. Alright, bye guys.